Hello, so in the previous episode we have added checkboxes to records and when we select a few records we can mark them either active or disabled. So here I've selected two records and I mark them either active or let's say disabled. But what if we want to select all the records on the page? Well, for this we are going to add a select all button. So here I select all, mark them all as active for example. And uh, for this select all, we're actually going to use a stimulus.js controller and we're going to build this feature using, uh, well, JavaScript and stimulus.js. So how is it going to work? Uh, when I click select all, we select all the records, uh, all these checkboxes, I can deselect them, I can select uh, all the records manually and select all will be marked as true. If I deselect one of the records, select all will be marked as false. So let's build this feature. I'm going to check out the main where I don't have this feature built yet. So I refresh, we don't have this uh, checkbox select all uh, button visible here. And let's create a new stimulus controller. I will say Rails generate stimulus, checkbox, select all. And it will create a new file in the JavaScript controllers, checkbox select all. Okay, and now let's try adding this to some checkboxes. So let's take some HTML checkboxes. Here is an example of some HTML checkboxes and let's place them on one of our pages. I'll go to our index page and just above everything, I will add these checkboxes. So here I have three checkboxes and let's add a fourth checkbox where we'll be able to select all. So uh, let me add one more checkbox on top of these. I will name it uh, select all then, uh, so type checkbox, ID will be all, name will be also all, value will be all, and here also all. Okay, so it has a unique ID and uh, yeah, now I need to wrap these checkboxes into our checkbox select uh, all. So I will take this data controller and create a div around our checkboxes and give it data controller checkbox select all. Let's close the div. Okay, and well, nothing happens at the moment. So uh, let's give uh, unique IDs to the parent, uh, to the uh, checkbox where we select all, and uh, these are going to be the children. So we'll create two targets. This will be the parent target, and this will be, uh, each of these will be kind of a child checkbox. So I'm going to create a, a static targets that will be parent and child. Okay, and we're going to set uh, this checkbox to, to have uh, data checkbox select all target to have parent. Let's see. Uh, so data checkbox select all target equals parent. Let's see if it works. I will try to hide this uh, parent on connect. So I will say this uh, dot parent target on connect I will say hidden equals true let's refresh and you see the checkbox next to select all has disappeared okay and let's add the data checkbox select all target child to each of these uh, child checkboxes so I will have select all target child and I will add it to each of these checkboxes and just to know that uh, it works, let's uh, also hide each of these uh, child checkboxes on connect just to test. So I will say this uh, child, and as we have many uh, of these child targets, I will say child targets, so an S in the end. And uh, it won't work if I just say hidden true because uh, we have uh, kind of an array of these uh, child targets. So uh, I have to get each of them and say hidden true on each of them. So I will say uh, dot map. I will say, well, I will uh, give them each a name of, let's say, x. And I will say x dot hidden equals true. So let's refresh. And it worked. So this way we can uh, do an operation on a single target. And this way we can do an operation on multiple targets. Looks uh, quite good. Now let's uh, make it so that uh, when we uh, mock the parent checkbox, the select all checkbox as checked, then we're going to mock all children as checked. 
So for this, I'm going to add a, an action. I will say uh, data action equals, then I will get, get the name of the controller. And the action is going to be, let's say change. So when we change uh, this checkbox, we will grab the checkbox, select all controller and uh, toggle the children. So toggle children. And let's add this uh, action into our stimulus controller. So I will say toggle children and uh, we will uh, well toggle uh, the value of all these children. So let me get all the children and uh, say checked equals true. And let me remove these. So, okay, here I have all these checkboxes. And when I'm going to check this one, I expect uh, each of the children to be marked as checked. So I click select all and you see all the children have been marked as checked. So looks good. But when I deselect, you see the children are not marked as unchecked. So we would need to add a condition. Let's say if uh, this dot parent target checked, uh, then we are going to mark the children as uh, checked. Else we are going to mark the children as uh, unchecked. So we'll mark them false. Let's see if this works. I will refresh, so select all. Okay, and something is uh, broken. Maybe I need to put this in braces. I will refresh, okay, it works. So I click select all and all the children are being selected. Looks good. So uh, the first part of the uh, checkbox select all controller works, but what if I individually select each child? I also expect the select all to be marked as uh, checked. So for this, I would need to add uh, possibly one more control action as toggle parent. Okay. And whenever we check uh, uh, one of the child records, we'll check if, uh, well, we're going to see if uh, there are any unchecked uh, children records. And only when all the children records are checked, then we're going to check the parent record. So I will also add a data action, but the data action will say toggle parent. And I will add it to each of the child checkboxes. Okay, so uh, let's see what happens. Let me go to toggle parent and say console.log and uh, let's get uh, all the child targets. This dot child targets. Let's see what we got. I will uh, go to inspect element, go to console, refresh, let me check one of the child records and you see we get uh, we get an array of hashes and uh, we will want to check if uh, any of them uh, is uh, unchecked. So uh, how can we do that? Uh, let's get all the child targets. Uh, dot map, let's map and say x, uh, uh, x dot checked. Let's see if any of them is uh, checked. Let's add this map method here in the console.log. And now I will select one of them and you see we get an array of false, false, true. Again, I click this one, false, true, true. And here, true, true, true. So if all of them are true, then uh, I want to have select all marked. So how can we do it? Well, the easiest way would be to, let's say, uh, say if any of them includes uh, false, for example. So includes false. Now let's refresh and see. So includes false. So there are child records that uh, are not checked. Also, there are child records that are not checked. And no, there are no child records that are not checked. So uh, let's uh, use this. Here we are checking uh, if there are any child records that are not checked. So let's say if there are child records that are not checked, 
uh, we are going to mark uh, this parent target dot checked as uh, false. Otherwise, we are going to mark it as uh, checked, so true. Let's see if it works. I will refresh. So I will click checked, 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 and select all has been marked as checked. Looks good. So works well. Now, sometimes when you refresh your browser, in some cases, you might uh, still have something checked. So uh, just on connect, let's be sure that all our values uh, when we refresh our page are unchecked by default. So to do this, I would uh, add something on connect. I would say that uh, when we just initialize this controller, by default, the parent target will be unchecked and uh, the child targets are going to be unchecked. Just to ensure that when we refresh our page, everything is unchecked and it works. So using just a stimulus controller and uh, some plain HTML checkboxes, we've made uh, the select all function work. Now, how can we do it with uh, our existing Rails uh, method? So here we have uh, in our user partial this checkbox tag for user IDs and we want to add a select all button. So uh, how can we do this? Well, first of all, we will wrap uh, everything into a div with the data controller checkbox select all. So like this, and we're going to close the div in the end. Okay, now uh, we need to add a checkbox tag. So like a Ruby checkbox tag, Rails actually checkbox tag uh, to select all. So let's say all, then we don't need any value uh, here. I will say nil and we'll not say multiple true, we'll not target a form, we'll just uh, give a data attribute. So here we have a data checkbooks parent and uh, toggle children. So data, and I will say uh, checkbox select all target equals parent, and the uh, action will be on change, I will grab this checkbox select all controller and toggle parent, or actually toggle the children. Okay, so now we have a parent. Let's see. Yeah, we have this all. Okay, we don't have a label, so let's add a label for it. Let's say equals uh, label tag, I guess. Let's say uh, label tag all. Let's see. So yeah, okay, it doesn't work because uh, it is targeted in the first place in the div. So let's uh, give it uh, a unique name. Let's say select all here and select all here. Let's see if it works. So I click select all, this is working, but uh, we still didn't assign uh, this uh, checkbox tag uh, as a child of this, uh, well, this uh, parent. So let's uh, add some uh, data attributes here. I will uh, just copy this. And uh, inside this hash, I will add uh, the data checkbox let all target is going to be child. And when we check, we will toggle parent. Now let's refresh. And let's see if it works. So I click select all and you see all the values are selected. I can deselect all, I can select the values individually and select all is ticked. So it seems to be working. Now let's see if we actually can make them disabled. I will click disabled and it worked. Again, I click select all active and it worked. So that's about it. And uh, well, we created a quite uh, simplistic but uh, nicely working uh, uh, select all controller. You see it required really little JavaScript. I really like it. Here we did it using uh, just HTML. We didn't use any Ruby here. And here is our Ruby on Rails implementation with checkbox tag. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Goodbye.